my name's Shale and welcome back to my channel. So I mentioned in my last video, which was my panning video, that I would be doing my declutter of lip products and so that's what I'm here to do today. Now this is going to be pretty similar to my eyeshadow palette collection in which there's quite old stuff in here it's quite retro and i think that because some of the lip products are from collections from the past and have unique packaging it's been hard to get rid of things but i suppose the benefit is i started my makeup museum which i mentioned in my eyeshadow palette declutter which i'll probably do a video on um, but obviously I needed to do this declutter first before I could do that. So most of my lip products are here. There's some in sort of handbags and stuff that I've been using because I like to have lip products available to hand. And so um, not all of my collection will be here. However, a majority is. And as you can see, it doesn't even fit in my storage anymore because there's just so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through everything and I'm going to start in here rather than the stuff that's on the side because the stuff on the side is pretty much new anyway. So it's mainly the stuff in here that's going to be sort of got rid of, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to sort of jump straight into it now. So in here we have predominantly MAC. Um, I did start off with a system of things that were like certain colours were together, so pinks, um, dark pinks, nudes, that sort of thing. Um, however, it sort of got out of control. So this is from the D Squared collection by MAC. So this is called Soft Illusion, as you can see, and this is what it looks like. Um, very pretty. It still has that sort of vanilla smell it doesn't smell too off but i know it is probably off i really like the packaging because it's as i say limited edition and so i might keep that for my museum okay so the next one is a cream cup this was my first mac lipstick so I'll probably keep this for sentimental reasons. I know some people are like, ooh, gross, why? It doesn't look like I've used it that much, but I actually used it quite a lot. As you can see, it's super old and off. Just by looking at it, you can tell that it's got sort of sweat on it. It's gross. The rest of it can probably go. So this is a cream machine called Speed Dial. And I believe this is quite a bright pink. It's a beautiful colour, but again, it's probably off, as you can see, it's got that sort of sweating and discoloration. It still smells vanilla-y, but I just can't. Now, MAC does a back-to-MAC policy where you can take uh, packaging back, empty packaging back, and you, I think it's it five or six, um, pieces of packaging like this and you can get a free lipstick so I'll sort of be getting rid of the product and um, using that recycling um, incentive to get a new lipstick so I'll leave that there and then this one is Hue is it? yeah I don't really like this one on as much as I thought I would. Oh, again, it's really sweaty, um, but this is years old. This is Bombshell. Um, I don't think this is this old, that old. Or is it? Oh, it's sweating. Mind you, it's so hot here that I think all my lipsticks are going to crap. Um, this is a really nice shade, but again, it's gone off. But but I might think about this because I know I used one of these lipsticks for my wedding and I don't want to chuck that one out. So I need to double check what I used. I am not sure that it was this, but I can't be 100%. So I'm going to put that in the maybe pile right now. And this is the one that I'm also not sure whether I used. And it's very similar in shade, to be fair. 
Um, and this is a lot newer, but it's still not new new. As you can see, it's starting to sweat in there. Put that on the maybe pile and then throw whichever one away. But, well, do the recycling back to Mac on the one that wasn't the one I used for my wedding. Okay, so these are the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lips. I'm not massively into Ultra Matte, but I like these. This is called Bumble. These are really new, so I'll be keeping these, by the way. Um, this is Viper. They all came in a little set. They're only really tiny look, like when you compare it to like um, the Too Faced. Then there's this one, which is... Well, it's called More Better anyway. I mean, oh, there we go. So that's More Better, which is just oh, makes me cringe just saying it. And this is my favourite one, and this is Sunday. So, yep, yeah, I'll keep those. Um, this is a coloured rain one, as you can see, and it is Snob. When I first tried this, I didn't like it, but then when I tried it again, I did like it, but I don't like... I like the colour, but I don't particularly like the formula of these, but it's okay, I'll sort of keep it, because I want to get some more use out of it. Um, these I bought because they were recommended by a YouTuber. I can't remember which YouTuber. But they're like, oh, the Super Saiyan Matte Inks, they're so good. So I bought... Oh, hang on. Where are they all? One, two... I can only find three, but I thought I bought four. Maybe I did just buy three. Um, the shades I got were Loyalist, Poet, and Seductress. Now, I use these. I love the colours. However... Oh my gosh, they just looked like vinyl on my lips and they just broke off. And it just, you ended up getting that line on your lips, you know, where sort of your waterline of your lip is. And it just looked horrendous. So I really did not like these at all. Um, so I was really gutted that I got them. So I don't know whether to give them another chance. Maybe I put too much on and whether to just get rid of them. I'll put them in the maybe pile as well because I sort of think I want to get rid of them but I hate getting rid of stuff. Okay, so this is an Essence Insta Care lipstick. I really like these. So I'm keeping this, it's pretty new. And it's just, they're pretty sheer but they're really nice on the lips. They're very moisturising and because I've got dry skin and dry lips, I really like them. So I'll be keeping these. Now, this is one of the ones that will go in my makeup museum, and this was the Wonder Woman and MAC collection. So this shade is called Marquise D. Um, uh, I, I did an ombre lip, and yeah, but that's the shade, if that's how you say it, Marquise D, or Marquise D, I don't know. And I forgot the name of this collection, but it was very seaside based. And this is called Lazy Day. And again, it's a light pink. That tends to be what I go for. Um, and yeah, because this is unique, um, it's but limited edition packaging, I'll probably keep that. I wore this quite a lot, but it was a little bit too light for me on my skin tone. It washed me out a bit. And I have this, which is a Primark matte liquid lipstick. I love the colour, but I absolutely hate the lipstick formula. So I'm going to get rid of that. Now, this is one of the Disney princesses. This is Jasmine. I'm keeping that, it's really new. Um, so yeah, this is Jeffree Star's Scandal. This was really new, it came out the, um, was it a Christmas one? Or it came out the Alien palette or something. I think it came out the Alien palette. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Not glittery, that's just the packaging. Um, keeping that because that's really new. This is a melted matte and it's in holy chic and this is way too light for me on the model it didn't look as light as it does on my actual lips but I think I'll keep it because I quite like it for the ombre effect and it was expensive so I still want to get my money's worth from it um, 
Then I have some Illamasqua ones. Now, Illamasqua ones will all be old. I'll keep this one. Um, not to use was uh, memorabilia again because this is again one of my first lipsticks and I really liked it. It was from a nude collection from Illamasqua. It's called Rose Pout. Uh, they did a whole nude lipstick um, thing. I think they've recently done this again, uh, but I really liked this lipstick, so I'll keep that as a memorabilia. This is an Estee Lauder one in Crystal Baby, and this was when I used to, in the early days, watch um, YouTube a lot. And I had my own channel back in 2009, 2010, and then I deleted it because I had to sort of work and earn money. Um, back in those days, it was only really knew that you could earn money from YouTube, so you didn't really know much about earning money from it. It certainly wasn't considered a job back then. So... Um, Back when I used to watch, I sort of went on, on a bit of a tangent with that, um, but back in those days I used to watch Pixie Woo, I used to really enjoy the beauty scene then, and they, well Sam really liked Crystal Baby by Estee Lauder, she really liked this um, lipstick, and it is super pretty, like it is really nice, this is too old now, but that was my first purchase it was a recommendation from YouTube so that's pretty cool this is another Illamasqua one again from the same nude collection it's called Cherub this is a beautiful dark pink one but again it's too old so I'm gonna get rid of this so this again this is called um, Nubal this wasn't from the nude one I bought this on sale and it's almost like a metallic-y pink. It looked awful on me. Now this, oh my god, Mac used to have these things called Slim Shines. And this is Long Stem Rose. And this was my ultimate favourite. I bought it because I saw it and it looked super pretty. Um, so I bought it, I loved it. Um, I then bought a replacement because I'd used it all up which considering when you look at all the lipsticks I have and barely any used up particularly the old ones you sort of think wow you really must have liked this one to use it all up and I absolutely did but when I was buying a replacement they informed me like the sort of staff at Mac informed me that it was being discontinued so that's why I bought cream cup because I was told that it was the closest match to this at the time it was not it was nothing alike the formula is different the colour is completely different so I was so disappointed but that's why I bought cream cup um, and they still do that now at least but these slim shines were really nice and my favourite and they stopped doing them but that's a really fond memory because it's when I used to live in Edinburgh now I have these two things and they're just cheap sort of wish things and they're the ones where they've got the flower in hang on a moment show you so the lipsticks that have little flowers and gold specks in I'm not sure if you can properly see that but when you put them on the lips um, they create like a really beautiful sort of pinky shade it goes sort of almost like a little stain well on my lips it does anyway and I actually really like these um, they do feel really plasticky, these by the way, but they look really cute. Um, and I really like them and they smell really nice, they smell like sweets. Um, so you'll yeah, probably keep them. Okay, so I've got more of the um, Instacare by Essence, which I'm keeping all of them. This is sort of like a brownie nude shade. And it's really quite nice. I need to use it a bit more. I've only sort of used it once. Um, and these are pretty much the same, except they were called the Butter Sticks. These were my favourites. I absolutely love these. Again, another Instacare. And I love the Butter Sticks. I do believe they've discontinued them because that's what Essence does. They make makeup you like and discontinue it. 
to you. But to stick, I've got quite a few of these dotted around everywhere, so I'll come across them probably as I go along. Uh, and there's another one, an Instacare one. They don't last very long on the lips, but they're really nice. And then I have this balm, and it's really pretty. I really like this. I've not used that this much, that much actually. Oh, and then we've got another one here. And I really like this balm as well. Very light colour, just like sort of a wash because it's more of a balm. But I really do like them. They feel very nourishing on the lips. And then I have another melted matte uh, by Too Faced. And this is Queen Bee. It's very mauve. I thought it was more pink um, from swatches and stuff, but it's very mauve. Um, I do like it though, so I'll keep that one as well. This is another Claude Rain one, but as you can see, it's different packaging. And this is the shade Classy. And again, it's another mauve one. I don't tend to go for mauve, so I don't know why I have so many. I tend to go for more pink colours, but yeah, it's okay. Then we have another MAC D Squared one. And I really love this colour, but as you can see, it's, ooh, it's gone bad about sweat marks and this was called spice flower i really did like this it was a really lovely shade um but yeah just too old to wear now unfortunately and then we have this one by jeffree star and it's called prom night i actually forgot i had this and then rebought it that would have been a bit crackers but um yes it's a really bright pink absolutely love pink lipsticks um as you can see it's not that old but it's going a bit wrong inside as you can see you can see right through it there so you can actually see where my finger's moving through it oh well you know I'll, I'll try and get some more use out of that now these are going to be a lot more in the mask ones so this is called liar and this is a pink i know that much very light pink, probably too light for my skin tone, and it's old, so I'm going to get rid of that. Then we have Immodest, which I believe is another one of the nudie ones. Oh no, it's not. Oh gosh, no, it's not. Now this is Iridice, but it's just bright pink. Then we have Resist. I can't even remember what colour this is. Okay, so purpley shade. I did wear this a little bit. And I just, I went for colours I liked rather than colours that suited me. Um, and I think that's part of my problem with why I've got so much waste now. Now this was called Sanja's. Yeah, now this red I had problems from the start, like I used it a lot. But I found it went melty and it started leaning and I had all sorts of problems with this from first getting it. And as you can see now, it's gone bad, really bad, so we'll get rid of that. Plus, I got all these other mascara lipsticks and then realised that I preferred other brands rather than this. So, yeah. And this one is Atomic. Again, I went for the really bright pinks, but then never really had an opportunity to use them. And I don't really like the formula of them. They are hard colours to like pull off, though. And then this is Magnetism. I remember name of it but I can't remember what it is. Okay another dark pinky purple. Now this is Rebel so again another sort of purpley colour. My mo like I was um I think I'd taken back six items like to the back to Mac and I got this with it because my mum said oh that's a lovely colour because you can pack it on for the deep purple you can share it out for a lighter pink and I really liked it and I used it for that but it's sort of gotten old now. Now oh this is the D squared. Huh, I'm not sure whether the other MAC ones were D squared then. I thought they were, but if this is a D squared one, probably not. So this is in blood red. Um, it's more of a pink red though. It's like sort of more of a purpley colour rather than red. Another Wonder Woman one. And this was called Spitfire. And it's a satin. And again, the purpley colour. It took me a little while to realise that not these purpley colours don't tend to work that well on me because I'm so pale. Girl about town. Oh, this is a bright pink one again. Really nice shade. It's not like over the top neon. It's like a nice sort of darker bright pink. But 
Again, I just never really got to wear it that much. I never went out. <laughs> this is a Viva Glam and it's the Cindy. So this was a Cindy Lopez Viva Glam. I really love this colour. Um, but again, I can't use that now because it went off. Um, but I really like the packaging and the like to... Now this is another Slim Shine by MAC and it's in Grenadine. I had all sorts of problems with this one, like sort of because the formula is so soft it's just probably why I got rid of it. I mean look at this, it's disgusting now. It's all twisted and wrong in the tube. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this. Um, oh yes, okay, so I'm keeping this from memorabilia. This was uh, from the MAC Heatherette collection and this was in um, Hollywood Nights. I believe it's another hot pink because that's what I was all about really pretty totally off um but i absolutely love the packaging i think that's probably what enticed me to these like limited edition ones most was the packaging which it sounds awful then we have all the pity of london collection by mac and this is called blooming lovely and this is sort of like a pinky purpley color it made me look dead that's, I tried it thinking, oh, that'll be nice, and then, nope, it made me look absolutely dead. But I love the packaging, and I love to collect these sort of things. And then we have another Viva Glam, and this is the Nicki Minaj one. And this was such a unique shade, I really like this. You can probably get it all over now. But at the time when this came out, it was really unique. It's almost like a corally sort of pink. It's really nice. Okay, so um, Belle from the Colourpop Disney Princess Collection. These are quite heavy. They've got a bit of weight to them. They feel pretty good quality. Um, keeping that. Uh, another one. I got the whole collection. I think uh, Snow White. So we're keeping that. Again, they're really new. So they're still good. And Tiana that then we have this one and it's Jeffree Star one I haven't even used it yet it's another ammunition and it's in beam me up and it's one of those almost like a topper really where it's sort of iridescent shade and it's really pretty um more colored rain um this is a Mars it's a lot more brown I thought it was going to be more pink so I was a bit disappointed with it but I'll keep it I'll still use it and there's another hot pink one. I don't know why I do this to myself. Pink Panther. So, you know what? I'm going to try and push my limits with this. And then I have a Laura Geller lipstick uh, from the Tropics collection. Oh, it doesn't have a natural name, so I guess it's just called Tropics. Um, now... I bought a few things from this collection and what I will say is I'm pretty allergic to a lot of it. <laughs> so I do like this shade but uh, I sort of like the packaging so I'm probably to keep it for the packaging um, but I couldn't actually use the lipstick it brought me out. This is another Primark one, it's sort of trash so I'm throwing that out. This was a Barry M lipstick and it's black. Um, just a normal black lipstick and the reason I bought it was for a Halloween when I was at university um, I'm just gonna get rid of it it's really old now no really I only use it once um, this is my first Urban Decay lipstick actually and I can't remember what it's called what was it called train wreck <laughs> now as you can see they're like Packaging is huge, it takes up so much room, it's really unnecessary, it's got like a little dagger on the bottom. I mean, yeah, it's quite unique, but it's just so big. But it looks as good as new. Look, and then it's got the Urban Decay logo there. Yes, it's quite a bit, but look at the fuzz on it now. It's gross, I wouldn't use it, but I think it reminds me of what Urban Decay used to be and I think they've changed and become quite a stale boring company now I know that sounds awful and I probably will regret saying that but when you look at what the packaging used to be and yeah it's over the top and ostentatious and you know sort of takes up so much room but they used to be really quirky and outside of the box and now I feel like they're not so much it's pretty much I mean that 
Game of Thrones thing. Come on, when you used to do packaging with like, daggers on it and stuff. It used to be really exciting and there used to be lights on things and you know they've just gone a little bit boring so i'll keep this to sort of remember <laughs> okay so these ones are probably going to go they're really old uh they're the benefit um this is called flirt alert betty um yeah i used them a little bit but didn't really like the formula i found it went all over the place so i'm probably gonna get rid of this I'm doing okay for the ones I'm getting rid of. Anyway. And this is a Duvetel Lana. I don't know which is the name and which is the sort of... See, I really love this colour. And I got it because it was similar to my long stem rose. But the formula just wasn't the same. So I never really used it. I have another Viva Glam. And it's just a Lady Gaga one. Yep. Again. I picked this colour because I was like, ooh, it looks pretty. And then it looked absolute trash on me because it's just too light for my skin tone. Oh, and there's another one of my Colourpop um, Ultra Matte Lips um, in Fresh Cut. Okay, so the last draw on this section is more lipsticks. So we have BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen. I've not even tried that yet, so I'd like to. So I'm going to put that in the keep pile. Same with this, it's got the packaging still on. There's two new nudes, there's a red. Um, and there's sort of like a terracotta colour. We're in a set with this bag here, which was quite cool. Um, then we have the Too Faced um, Christmas set. So this was Cinnamon Bear and it has really cute packaging. And it's a set of mini ones, so there was Cinnamon Bear, well, I'm not keeping all of these by the way, Cinnamon Bear, um, Pumpkin Spice, they're all scented, they smell lovely, um, and they're all really nice shades as well, this one's um, Hot Buttered Rum, and Sugar Cookie, now this is my favourite of the bunch, this was, I used to wear this all the time during Christmas because of it, so beautiful, really like it. And this is another one which is just from that BH Cosmetics collection. But look at that, it's like I've not even used it yet, and it's already gross. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, and from the same drawer, I've got this it's an Anastasia one called Sweet Pea, which is sort of like a pinky, sort of purpley shade. These are pretty new, so we'll keep in them. I really like that shade really nice okay so we'll go to the ones on the side now um another christmas two-faced uh, melted matte in i believe it's gingerbread girl it's a bit dark for what i wanted i really wanted gingerbread man but trying to find that in the uk was a nightmare so yeah but it's a nice shade still i really do like it um then we have a catrice one and it's more of a tinted balm really than a lipstick and this is um, the Plumping Gel Lipstick. I can't remember what the colour's actually called. Oh, Confidence Code, I think. It's a really pretty colour. I really like wearing it. It's really soft on the lips. Oh, what's it say on it? Be Brave. And then Catrice, which is sort of, it's sort of messed up because it, the problem is it's because it's that gel formula, it's so soft, it's sort of, um, Bending a little bit, so yeah. Another Anastasia one. This one is in Petal. It's one of my favourite lipsticks of all time. And it's this. Really pretty. It looks very sort of sweaty, but I don't know if it's just because I used it recently with a gloss. But yeah, really nice. Um, another Anastasia one. This is Sedona. This is more of a nudie, peachy nudie pink. Really pretty. Again, pretty new, so keeping that. I use these Anastasia ones, even though they're matte a lot, because they're not like liquid lipstick matte. They're really sort of soft matte. Again, another one, and this is soft touch, and this is definitely more of a peachy one. Mm -hmm. And another one, I believe this will be Hollywood. Yes. Another peachy sort of very nude, nude, 
really pretty. Then we have more Colourpop. This is Cinderella. It's a very pink one. Keeping that. Another one, which is um, Ariel. I really like that colour. Again, very nude. Um, then another MAC one, which is from the Aladdin collection. This one is Raja, which is sort of like a ruddy colour. Really pretty red. It was very dark on me though, because I like skin tone. And then we have uh, Princess Incognita, which again is one of my favourite colours. I really like this. It's very sort of like nudie pink. Quite light though, so I do tend to use it with a darker nude. Like a darker pink. Um, then I have this. It's a Too Faced Natural collection one and it's called Pout About It. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. It's a lot more brown than I usually go for in a nude, but very nice. The lid's like metal as well, so it feels really good quality. And I really like the formula. It's very soft, very, not glossy per se, but a little bit glossy. It's just not matte at all, which I really like. And then this is Birthday Sue, and this is quite light, so I like to use it with the other one. Pout about it. And again, it's not as pink as I normally go for, but it's still really pretty. Then we have um, Christmas Cookie, which is one of my favourites. Um, really nice nude. It's a lot more pinky on than it looks in the tube. Keeping that. Then this one is birthday suit. They look almost identical, but this is lighter. I tend to use this as an ombre because it's too light on its own. Then we have lip ammunition in Calabasas. This is my all-time favourite. Um, I really like this. It just stays on as well. It's really soft. It doesn't really feel like you're wearing anything, but it stays on the lasting power for a bullet lipstick. is fantastic, so I really like it. And then we've got another one of these um, butter sticks. This is meant to be matte but it looks exactly the same as the glossy ones. It's just really nice. Um, and then this is a Colourpop lippy stick in Little Tings. It's really nice. Again, I really enjoy wearing this one. It's really nice pink. So this is Can't Relate. It's really nice pink and nude, but quite light. But I uh, really enjoy it. Then we have, um, this is Bear It All, I believe. Is that? Yeah, Bear It All by um, Wet n Wild. It's sort of dupe of a MAC one called is it teddy or something teddy anyway i really like that and then here's another there's a oh yes the color pop blotted lip i've got another one somewhere i don't know where that's gone it's probably fallen somewhere but these are really nice i like the effect of this on the lips i really like that i've got like a reddish one as well and it's beautiful now i'm keeping all of my lip scrubs i have the um, salt of Caramel from the Christmas collection, the Blue Raspberry Sucker, the Pumpkin Pie one, it's, oh, it's amazing for Christmas. Um, I also have this one, which is a um, peach one by Too Faced, and let me just show you, it's absolutely gross. So here we are, it's just really greasy, and it's been like that since I bought it, it's just not nice at all. The smell is really fake peach smell. It's not very nice. And um, it was more expensive than my Jeffree Star ones. And look at the size difference. Look at the difference between them. So, yes, not happy. I um, really didn't like this. And um, I'm probably just going to get rid of this now. And, um, the other blotted lip by Colourpop. This is a shade. Swing away. And this is really nice. I like this formula. So if you move on up here, um, we have the newest uh, Viva Glam, and that's the one that Winnie Harlow has just been sort of representing, and it's exactly the same as the original one, that dark red colour, but it's in special 25 year celebration uh, packaging, which is really nice, so yeah, I'm keeping that. This is a really cute little tart one that um, I got with the Pineapple of My Eye collection. Just a really teeny little, almost like a gloss, then a lipstick. It's really sort of sheer. Then I have another tart one which is Escape. And it's actually like a red, sort of very similar to Calabasas. I really like that shade. 
and I really like the the um, wear on this and although it's not as good as the lip ammunition by Jeffree Star it's sort of a lot softer a lot more sort of moisturizing so I really like that for it then we have I believe this is Jeffree Who yes so I really like that shade Using that then we have red room this is a bright red from Jeffree Star really like this keeping that then we have poinsettia or poinsettia um I don't normally go for metallics but I really like the effect of this so I've got that um we really like this shade this is calabasas um but in the lipstick uh, liquid lip form I do prefer the lip ammunition but I do really like the shade of this on my lips it's a little bit different to the um, lip ammunition and then we have Santa Baby which is a really deep purpley red and I just love the packaging I have a liquid cat suit in petal poison really pretty but very sheer but I like it it's very glossy and this is one of my favourites as well. This is the Lime Crime in um, Rosebud. I really like this. I love the um, effect on the lips as well. Then I've got um, Lime Crime Cupid. These are okay. They're not my favourite liquid lips, but I love the shades. And then I have um, True Love. These are in a set, by the way. And then this one which is Saint. I do like these shades, but I never really wear these that much. Then I have lips, uh, lip balms, and I, I love these um, quenches from Tarte. I've got a few, but as I say, they're all in handbags and stuff. And then I've got my lip liners, which are all okay. They're all pretty new. So now we're on to my lip glosses. Hold on to your hats. Um, we have this little Geller one. It Again from the Tropics collection. It's pretty nice, but again, I couldn't really wear it, so yeah. They just brought me out, I don't know why. This is one I got in the magazine, it's from a model, whatever, it's gross, that's going out. Um, this is when Viv Glam brought out glosses, or like the lip, the lip glasses even. This is really cute colour, but it's a bit old now. So, who's this by? Oh, it's Cindy Lauper again. Yeah, so this is probably going to go in my memorabilia. Then another one that will go in my memorabilia is this Dame Edna Everidge one. It's a lip glass called Hot Frost and it's a beautiful pink shade. And the packaging for this collection was just awesome. I remember buying this from MAC and yeah, I really, I really like this collection. Again, memorabilia. This is lip glass. Um, I use this a lot. It's pretty much out now. Um, just a colour, it's going out, it's gross, it's old now. Another one from Memorabilia, this was from the Hello Kitty collection with MAC. Um, nice kitty. Oh, it's a sample. Oh, I bought this from uh, an Estee Lauder um, factory shop. That's why. Another one which I bought from the Estee Lauder factory shop is this one. And uh, something about being wild, the collection, I can't remember what it was. But I really like the packaging, it's really cute. And this is called um, Fierce and Fabulous. So I like that one. It'll go in memorabilia. Another one from the collection, which I thought was D squared, but obviously wasn't. Um, and this is Baby Blooms. I really liked this one. Um, didn't wear it enough though. Now, Mac with the Wonder Woman collection brought out these huge lip glosses. I have two. I have this purpley shade, which is Athena's Kiss. Athena's Kiss. And then this red one. I really liked the formula of this, you know, Wonder Woman, it's just self-named, really pretty glittery red and if you compare it to a normal lip gloss, lip gloss even, that's the size of it, they did really massive ones, a uh, more massive price. This one, it's not safe to use anymore, it was one of the, I'm not sure they still do these anymore, the dazzle glasses. Um, Creme Allure. I'm gonna get rid of that, that's gross. Now the Illamasqua lip glasses, these are old, that's gross. What colours are they in? This is in Belladonna. Oh, the, oh, Succubus, Succubus, Succubus. Um, oh, this one's gone really rank. Culminate. I don't know the shade name of that, it's sort of worn off. Then we have 
this one which is called Tantra, another of the Masker one. This is a much older packaging and the name of that's gone. And then this one which is called Move. I'm sorry my camera isn't really focusing. Oh there we go. And then we have this one which is still in packaging so this one will be okay because it's pretty new. Um, the shades Frenzy. So I'm probably going to get rid of all these Illamasqua ones. Now this is an old MAC one and what's it called? It's a lip glass in Crazy Hot. I really like the packaging of this one. I'm not sure whether they still do this sort of packaging but it was Crazy Marbled Effect. This one can go out. This is a Gemma Kid makeup school. I think I got it in a magazine. Didn't really like it that much. Um, now we have more MAC lip glasses. So we have Archie's Girls. Uh, this is Veronica. They're not safe to use now, but um, I'll keep them for memorabilia. And this is Betty, I believe. Yep, Betty. They're really cute colours. Not safe to use now. Then we have the villains from MAC. Um, yep, MAC did it before Colourpop. <laughs> Um, so we have Maleficent, oh I think it actually had a name as well, Revenge is Sweet this one's called, and then we have the Evil Queen, and this one's called Hot House, whatever that is I don't know, um, then we have Cruella de Vil, and this is called Wicked Ways, we have another Another kitty one, and this is called Sweet Strawberry. This is one of my favourites because, as you can see, well, hopefully, you can see it's purple with blue sparkle. It's just beautiful. I really like looking at that. This I'm going to keep for sentimental reasons because I used to use this all the time, and um, yeah, I really liked this one. It's another Laura Geller one. I don't know what it's called though. Then we have the Sweet Peach by Too Faced. A little peach on the top. I like these. Um, Tickle Me Peach is what that's called. Um, then we have another MAC um, Viva Glam one. This is the Lady Gaga one. And then we have the Marcel Wanders lip gloss. I used to love this lip gloss. Um, I'm so disappointed when I couldn't use it anymore. But I just really love the packaging. I think it's really cute. And now we're on the last drawer. Yay! So this one's really new, this is a Becca one, I really like this colour but I hate how you can't stand it up because it's like a test tube shape, so yeah, so I'm keeping that. Um, the Jeffree Star one in Wet Peach and then um, they also have uh, Control Freak which I didn't really like that much. Um, I'm sure I had a third one. Um, this one is Moon Jelly by Anastasia. This is really new. I really like it, so I'm keeping that. This is from Mac, and it's the Aladdin one for called Diamond in the Rough. Sorry, my dog's scratching on the door to come in. It's really pretty packaging. Keeping that. This one can go. It's an old cream sheen glass by Mac. It's old. This is a little uh, sweet peach one, that's fine to use. This one was from the same Seaside collection that I had one of the lipsticks from. Um, I'll keep this from memorabilia but I can't use it, it's too old now. Um, and this is called Splashing. This is from the same collection. And again, this is called Easy Lounger. Then we have, oh, another Evil Queen one from MAC Strange Potion. I really liked this colour. And then, ooh, this has gone bad. Um, the Lip Injection Extreme. Oh, look what it's gone like. It's gone multicoloured. Um, yeah, that's old. I did like it though. Um, and then we have a Barry M one, limited edition. This is pretty new. I'll probably keep this. I don't think it's got a name on it. I got it in a magazine anyway. Then we have the old um, super glass. These are the ones from MAC which have, I'm going to try and focus the super big glitters in. Oh, I really wanted to focus. Yeah, it's not focusing. So yeah, super big glitters in it. I'll post a picture because it's not, it's being annoying. 
This one, oh, this is gross. I believe this is going to be bubble tea. Yeah, bubble tea. That's really old. That needs to go out, but it's one of my favourites. Um, this is another Illamasqua one. It's the Illuminator. It's old now. I'm going to throw that out. This is a really old one as well. It's a Bourgeois Effect uh, 3D Linudes. And this was in uh, Rose Mythic. And it, this was really hard to get. I really liked it, but it's too old now. I also love Tia London collection. Um, English Accents is what it's called. Um, this is quite a new one. And I got it for free from Beauty Bay. And it's um, Funfetti by Jouet. So I'll keep that. And then I have another Wonder Woman uh, lip gloss, and it's called, surely it's not Emancipation, oh, I think it is, yeah, Emancipation or something. Um, and then we have another super gloss, which won't uh, focus, but as you can sort of see, really pretty, but yeah, too old for me now. So these are all the lipsticks I'm getting rid of. As you can see, it's quite a lot. All the MAC ones I'm going to be putting towards back to MAC, so I'm going to be recycling them. And these are the ones that are going into my makeup museum. There's a lot, well, there's a lot of interesting packaging that sort of tell a story of the sort of history of particularly MAC, but um, definitely sort of like makeup history really in here. And then these two, one of them will stay here, one of them will go towards my back to MAC collection um recycling thing uh because i just need to check which one i wore my wedding day so thank you so much for watching um i really uh, appreciate it leave a comment to see if you sort of recognize any of these past collections whether you were collecting at that time or whether any of these are completely new to you and you never knew they existed um i really enjoy reading those comments also um it'd be great if you liked and subscribed if not that's fine too and thank you very much for watching and take care.